at the moment things are uncertain in this world as you know we have the uh the war of russia uh, taking back ukraine and a lot of things are happening around the world fuel prices are growing up food prices lack of oil potentially and all these things have the power to make anybody uh, want to worry and be concerned about the future but i want to offer you comfort and strength through the word of god concerning the future of this world and what's going on and in isaiah chapter 8 it goes on to do to say um further down in verse 13 and this is about things happening with war and strategies and such um, it says this that do not fear what they fear do not dread the lord almighty is the one to regard as holy he is the one you are to fear he is the one you are to dread and the lord wants us or he commands us not to fear what they fear. It could be anything, not just this war that's going on there in the east. It could be anything. But the thing is, the Lord wants us to not fear that, not fear these things, but to fear him. He wants us to trust him about it all, to know that everything is perfectly in control of what's happening. He had only allowed so much to happen. And people might worry about nuclear war and such things. You know, it is possible that a random nuclear bomb could be let off. But the thing is, if you read Bible, if you read Revelation, we read about the end times. Um, things have to happen in the right order. And for that to happen right now would not be fulfilling the things that have to happen in scripture but anyway that that's by and by the thing is uh, do not fear what's going on around you. you folks listening to this do not fear the lord is with us the lord is with you believers in the lord jesus we find hope and comfort and to know whatever happens the lord is with us we can trust him and however hard times get he will meet our needs he will bring peace in our hearts when around people are distressed and worried and anxious and poorly even with what's going on for us we have hope in the future but for them there is fear and dread but for us there is peace and hope so i just want to encourage you that whatever's happening around there just like with um covid back back in 2020 when all that started there was fear and there was dread it wiped its way across the world people were afraid of of catching it and dying people were afraid that this is the end of it what a society as we knew it people were afraid of hardships people were afraid of um all the conspiracy theories going around of of even of taking vaccinations and probably some people still are and still against it which is fine but the thing is that passed away as well and beginning to pass away here in the uk and so too with this war it's going to cause hardships at times it's going to cause our living standards maybe to change for a while the things we do what we spend on how we budget but the thing is the most important thing is we are to fear the Lord and to trust in him and to know that he is in control and he is overall and everything that goes on and everything will work out for good in the end for his purpose and plans in the time scale of this world and then for the future that we have one day with him.